Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesdays with Tricky right here on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's gonna be your like bonus special footage because we're not um we haven't gone live. Like, on... Whoa, mama! <laughs> that top. <laughs> what are you talking? This top is so nice. It, it, it really is. Did Sean see you before? You yes. Did it? That's what he said to you. Nothing. He said. He, no. He actually said, good enough. <laughs> this is before he got miserable with me. Yeah, he did it very miserable on you. <sighs> So just getting a little drink on before we go live on IG. I have my Lady B Mixology today. I'm drinking guava lemonade and of course it's shot. Okay, it's now 1.30 so we're going to head live over on IG. We're going to try to read out the questions so that, you know, the repeats here over on YouTube, you guys can follow along. Pressing the button. Pressing the button. Press it. Okay. Let's press the button again. Okay, press the button. You are now live. All right, let me guess. Think? Jody. Jody. Jody Drew Fitz. Jody Drew Fitz. Um, who else? If Antonella is at Jody. 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 If Jody is here, is here first. She's gonna be first. Kiki. Kiki. Do you know Kiki goes on under the radar? She comes on very often. Big up yourself, Kiki. Hi, Kiki. Slim Slimmers. Yes. Hey. Early crew. Early crew. Early crew. Check What's in. up? Early crew checking hey, in. Hey, 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 hey. So, yes. Fitz, your name was called in my house on Saturday. Yes, it was, Fitz. So, I want to thank Fitz for sending a little gift for Stevie. Um, some people sent some gifts for Stevie. You guys, I am... I had a little emotional moment because I really wasn't expecting anybody to send a gift and I was just so happy. You feel good, don't yeah, it? I feel so happy. It's like... But I want to ask if you're sending a gift for Stevie, just to put your IG handle name on there so that I can tell you thank you and stuff. I just got... Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a good idea. So because um, I was going through my thing just to send people a little thank you and whatever, and I just want to make sure that I get that right thank people. you out to you, to the right people. Yeah. But I, I'm so thankful. And then somebody sent this book. That one made me emotional. It was called um, God, God Made You So Special. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. Yes, Trey, don't worry. See, Slim Simas, I'm a top look cute. You can check out what Tracy did with my top <laughs> over on YouTube. They got some bonus footage <laughs> for the beginning. Thanks, guys. So, so nobody likes my Jesus. Oh, no, it's... no, Jesus. So, I kind of wanted to have a little discussion. So, I come here every week or like whenever, and I always buy from Fashion Nova. And I was doing a little bit of research, and I don't know if I really want to buy from them anymore. Why? So while they have, um, you know, they have, a, oh, oh, connection is poor. Let me go over to, sorry guys. Why? Sorry. So, connection is still poor. Why I don't want to buy from Fashion Nova. So, sorry, sorry, connection. So I just feel like, they have great clothes, they have a wide selection, lots of different sizes, lots of different styles. But then I feel like they steal a lot of those styles from black um, designers. So but they steal it from black designers, white designers, Indian designers, Chinese designers. They steal it from designers, that's why it's called fast fashion. Like everybody does it, like H&M does it. Um, what you call Old Navy does it. It's not just Fashion Nova, it's all of them and they steal it from every co every color, every race and designer. Okay, I hear you with that. And then also I find that their shipping has gotten crazy. Like whereas before they could ship within a week and I'd get my things quickly, now they take forever to ship. And on top of that, um, their prices have gone up. Like if you're gonna sell me cheap shit, like just sell it to me for $15. I don't need to pay $27 for your spandex romper or one wear, you know? Yeah, but that's the whole point of fast fashion that it's supposed to be cheap. All of those department stores, Zara, H&M, Forever 21, Fashion Nova, they all steal the fashions, right? And then they just make it according to different, like Zara, Zara? And H&M make it with higher quality materials and they stitch it a bit better so it can last you for a year whereas fashion nova and forever 21 make it with lower quality materials and they stitch it like with one stitch that so lasts two seconds so it just depends on who you're buying from that it is cheaper the now, jeans are 60 dollars 
is that 60 okay so another problem actually I don't have a problem with it actually yes I do so the models that Fashion Nova uses I follow them aside from being on Fashion Nova Jodi Joe or your date you mean I find that the girls have been kind of factory to look a certain way like even now they've just had a new black model and she's black she's not like the token black girl um, but they all have these and I don't have a problem with your builder body I want to build my own too, I start already, I'm in the process but I find that you need to be, <laughs> I'm in the process you have to kind of diversify so you need, yes you need a little one white skinny model but then you need a black girl and you need a meaty black girl too because the people who you are selling to they need to like, you know a so black girl got some meat, yeah so like you're diversify you're not, you're not, you're finding like the body of the girls yeah. that they choose are you, you're not finding you see you see it's not relatable okay, okay yes okay because when we build my body you know eh yeah well i mean i guess you also have to know your body type when you're going and doing and, True. and, and you have to know your body type for fast fashion because there's just some things that I cannot buy because yeah. my body is so big. So all of those little bohemian dresses that I would love, I can't wear because my flat body will turn it into a shirt. Real I see quick. the comments about Sheena. I have ordered, actually, no, she ordered from Sheena and I went through her things. Um, they need more body types. So young girls, I understand Tracy and I are a little older, so we may be more comfortable in ourselves. But looking at like a 15 year old or a 16 year old or those young girls who, you know, they're shaping and molding to become who they are. They're looking at all of these perfect bodies that were not perfect from birth. Right. And I, make I don't it, know how these teenagers survive in this world. You know, it's really hard. God and knows. I think it's really unfair for um, social media influencers who have done work to did not hide it. You can hide it if you want, but to deny it because then it forces young girls to feel like, how come I don't look like that? How come I can't get my waist in or my bottom? I'm going to stop eating and maybe I'll do that. And I just find it's just, when you hide that, it's it's not cool. It's not Meg's cool. Megzana says we should stop ignoring her. Megs, just because you have your good body sort. Yeah, we already. ignore you, okay. okay? As I said, okay. I am in the process. <laughs> Halfway done. The waist is coming in. We don't buy the bottom yet. I put down a deposit. Megs, nobody's yeah. talking to you with put your on a perfect God-given body. <laughs> okay? Know. Like, seriously. Megzana, oh. J.A. You need to... I need to... I need to I have to I have to check if Scott is following you. So because if he is, he's gonna unfollow yeah, that yeah, real quick. Sean's <laughs> so I think it's I think it's really cool when you know you have social media influencers who are a little bit more open. You have some YouTubers who will tell you about their surgeries. So if you're like, hey, I want to do my boobs, you have a boob video. Mine is coming soon. And just a little bit more open and transparent because you are some of you. Aren't born I hear what you're this saying, package. Jody, but I have to disagree with you because because the I young girls are looking at yeah, them. but that's not my problem. Like I okay. So what if you come now? All right, you just have baby, yeah, right, and you come now and you start to look like Jody Joe. That is obvious, obvious surgery. And then Jody says nothing. She continues to, and people are asking her. There's YouTube videos on her. There's before and afters, and it's all this big like. Hush, hush, I did two okay, BBLs. Okay, so hold on. Is this person an... Imp you're talking about influencers in particular? Yeah, she's a big influencer. Oh, okay, okay. So... I'm not talking about the little, you know, regular person who go go do them breasts and they're like, Oh, no, <laughs> I just ate extra beef. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know. You have to see what are you an influencer on. And, you know, I do think that people, parents need That's to... That's Jodi. And I <laughs> 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 the way, way Jodie looks up to I all the phone, Papa. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Goodness, that was frightening. Oh, I was like, you we had an accident. I was like, Jodie does look good, but seriously? <laughs> sorry, we had a little accident. <laughs> the phone just popped up. Oh, here we go. All right, is it going to pop I up again? Know. That side look a little weak. Right, let's put it down a little. Oh, parents I don't know. play a huge it, role as well. Exactly. I am Ash L. I just feel that if you know that your daughter or son or your child has a problem with their body image, maybe you should like try and give them some sort of confidence or not have them be watching so much. I, you know, I just think that there's a lot going on in this world today that you can say what is right and what is wrong and how you should raise your children and how people should feel. And 
it, it's just one of these things that you're going to have to go through and deal with as the occasion comes. Like it's unfair for you to say, oh, whoever goes and has surgery, if you're an influencer, you need to tell the people. No, I'm so, that's not what I'm, I'm saying. I'm so sorry. Like if I go and get my boobs done or when I get my BBL and fix my thighs, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to pretend that, you know, you just ate some beef. Yeah. Top beef, you know, butcher and black beef. when people compliment me, I'm just going to say, <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. Like, I don't really want everybody to know. But that's me. That's my personality. Jody, on the other hand, will be like, yeah, I did <laughs> Anushka this. says, she just dropped us on our head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you would like, I can call back Dr. McCarty to make sure you're all okay. <laughs> but anyway. Um, all right, all right. We're going to do a little book giveaway before I take... I don't know if you guys Wait, saw... Wait, are we in, we're starting with a book giveaway already? Oh, no, let's not start with a book giveaway. So, guys, I'm going to just sip in on my Lady B Mixology. Today, I am drinking a guava lemonade, and it is bum di di bum ba dang ba dang diggy diggy. I, you know, I really love these Lady B things, but I'm really upset because every time you get them, mm -hmm. I can't drink. And you look like you're having a blast over there. I am. But on top of that, they also remind me of like how cool this would be down a carnival road. The carnival we ain't having? The carnival. The carnival we ain't having. Okay. So we have a couple. Oh, this is fizzy. Oh, it's made with tequila. This one is made with Ooh. tequila. Tequila. La, 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 mm -hmm. la, la. Okay. So today is peace day, guys. That's why I wore my Jesus outfit. Which my helper says to me before I leave the house. Where I go? I said, I just didn't know what to my sister was. You know, I go up on the road. I said, no, Miss Rosemary, what's happened? You need a slip. <laughs> it's <see> true. <laughs> Miss Rose, look it up for me. All right, so what were we going to say? So we have a very special thing coming for everybody. So we realize as um, good body social media influencers, yeah, well, one body in process. <laughs> We have this I'm body. Build, I'm building bodies. Oh, you're okay. She's building, building bodies. bodies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we realize that we have this amazing platform, and you guys have really, really helped us since we started almost a year ago. We now are live with almost 500 people. Um, we know we we get a lot of views when we post, and um, we just want to thank you because you know we've been listening to what you have to say, and also you guys listen to us too. As mad as we are, <laughs> you listen to us. <laughs> And we, we started out using our platform to promote Jamaican businesses yeah. and to promote Jamaican products because during this time, businesses have kind of taken a little bit of a... Or a lot of bit. A lot of what? Bit? A lot of bit. You said bit. a little bit. Or have taken a lot, like they've taken a beating. Mm -hmm. So we kind of wanted to offer advertising, to offer sending your products and we'll show whoever is watching our 500 people and a couple of people linking us still. Let me show it. it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so uh, so we are going to be launching our platform called Mecca Jamaica, and Mecca M E C C A J A M A I C A. Very good, Jim. Thanks, thanks. And I think it's like <laughs> Mecca Jamaica, like made in Jamaica, and then Mecca when you have like the Mecca of all things. Right. So we're going to be using this business to offer you different stages of advertising for your product or your mm -hmm. service and it's going to be Jamaican. Yeah. So us as your good body influencers yeah. will guide you throughout the advertising process and there's different tiers you know that you can you can log on and do. We want to have your um, what do you call it? services. We want to have your products. We want to have everything that's Jamaican all in one place. And you guys know that when we have something here on the show or when we have something to show you yeah. that it's the good good. Yeah. Right? So there's so many things that have been on this show that we've actually reordered, you know, like personally. Personally, like, mm -hmm. you know, and our friends will call us and they'll be like, hey, um, what do you say? Like, okay, well, we're gonna do this one. So we want to thank some of the brands that we have had um throughout the year. Um, we really, really appreciate you. And I'm I'm gonna be a little bit partial, but I have a favorite. I have a favorite. A favorite overall brand. No, or favorite brand I don't know. Oh my gosh, I forgot to bring my favorite. Oh, you, you have, you have, you have. We can show. We okay. Can show. So, pum pum Paddy. No, that's not Jamaican. Tracy, your hair is growing. Thank, Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> so, 
Um, can I, can you pass me the Rachel Lynn? So Rachel honestly has been one of my little favorites, Rachel Lynn. So first no, of all, her little, packaging. She has been your big favorite. And by the Cabano. I've ordered, I, I've really, so I just want to say a thank you to all of the brands who have trusted us to display your brand in a very classy. But you know what I also want? Classy. <laughs> only when Nana is here. Okay, only when Nana is here. But I just want to say also to thank you to you, our viewers, for trusting us, trusting our decisions because you have made such a big impact for these brands as well by ordering them, by checking out their pages, by following them. So honestly, we could not have done it without you yeah and that's why we love to do giveaways on the show and that's why we like to give back to you because you are the main reason that why, why, why we are here why, why, why here. we want to do this and why we're even able to, to do the whole make a jamaica page yeah so make sure you follow the page because the 10th follower we have a prize for you but right now i just want to show you one of my all-time favorites it's rachel lane first of all her instagram page is absolutely beautiful yeah. like Open the box. Oh, sorry, open the box. Then she gives you this beautiful ribbon that Nana will steal. <laughs> Make a card! It's a beautiful card-making ribbon! <laughs> Alright, and oh. Oh! Wow! So, her candles what are so smell beautiful. Oh, I know this flavor already. I actually... Deep desire. Right, this one sounds sensual! <laughs> I... Oh my gosh, that is so cool! She's cool. cool. Scan me for music. music. Scan it. I want to hear the deep desire music. Scan it. Scan it? Okay, hold on. Yeah, I want to scan it in a, in a just phone, put it, in a camera. It, put your camera up. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Okay, here we go. This is so high tech. Okay, Rachel. Okay. Turn it up. Hold on. Oh, treasure him. Watch it. Treasure her. No! Okay, Rachel. <laughs> she takes it in the mood on your level. level. Okay. What? Oh! Light your candle. Oh! Light your candle. Deep desire. Pass the soap. Pass the oh, soap. Oh. I'm feeling dirty. <laughs> yeah. Wash it off, baby. Yeah. Oh, far away. Oh, stop by the way, YouTube might just Rachel, know. this packaging <laughs> goes <smart. laughs> Hold on. But before you start anything, I make sure your this. skin feeling, you know, nice and so what is this? Calm. Oh, calming bath salts. Maybe I'm gonna put this in the kids' bath. They need to calm the hell down. <laughs> so um, if you go onto her website, um, I actually just ordered a birthday gift for my sister-in-law last week. Um, the customer service is great. And um, she has these boxes. I think it's the same names. Treasure him, treasure her. And you know, she's, yeah. Her things smell really good. No, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes yeah. you get a candle and the candle is like five minutes and What's you're like- What are you doing and you give away? Okay. The tenth caller, the tenth caller. No, the tenth person to sign up on the Mecca Jamaica page. Right, the tenth follower on the Mecca Jamaica page. You will win Spotlight on Me, a guide to giving great interviews and commanding media by Racine Williams. Woo! Uh, All right, it's a good book. So you know, if you're feeling like I don't really know how to talk to people, you know, I'd like to start my own YouTube channel. I'd like to start my own live and. Not. Which one? Oh. K and K N O wait, wait. K N O T H O Y K N O T H O Y Y You are the tenth follower on the Mecca Jamaica page, so, so you, you have will one. win. Spotlight, Spotlight on me. me by Racine Williams. She is a Jamaican author. She is living in LA now, doing great things. Actually, I just spoke to Racine the other day, and she had just finished doing a interview with I, I she said she was going to be doing an interview with um i don't think i'm allowed to say it no i don't think you should say it yet but oh she's doing really well for herself and yes these books hey hey me can post them you know me can post them to trinis yes yes anybody, anybody you can well you can check her out on racingwilliams.com to mm -hmm. see more about racing oh pin more. the mecca jamaica page yeah to see more of um who racing is as well as who she's interviewed and her um journey through the whole entertainment industry she's living in la now and she's working over there she works for a television company over there um she's gorgeous 
She went to the hairdresser and cut her hair yesterday. It looks really good. She did? Yeah. My little bob. Looks cute. Oh, hold on. Anyway, she can't be here with us today. We asked her to be here, but she had a meeting to go into. I got it on Amazon. Okay, great. Because, you know, sometimes you guys may want to, like, you have information. Everybody there, you have information. What's the next thing? Whether it be about makeup, whether it be about your job, you have something that <clears throat> people may want to learn and you hear from you. You don't know how to speak. You don't know. You're kind of shy. Read this book. Start a channel. Start your channel. Today is the day. Start your channel. Start your IG live. Do it. Okay. Um, so then we have another cost uh, another what is it sponsor who came on the show a little while ago um that was also jamaican made products that we loved and mm. nana stole a lot of my own a lot she stole yours too she came here she's like oh uh, my hair my hair needs some some spray okay and then goes in the bag she stole she's what's the book called again it's spotlight on me sure. we'll have another giveaway soon in the show spotlight on me by also uh, also by awesome author racine williams so um <clears throat> etino etenio etenio can you hear me? oh etenio they wrap their things real good oh wow oh. Oh, this is so nice. That is beautiful. How they wrap Oh my that. gosh. Presentation. That is so beautiful. Oh, wow. It's, oh. oh my gosh. It smells so like... Good. I love a smelly smell, you know. I like when I come out of no, the bath. No, so the other day I had to bathe over at Jodie's house, right? <laughs> she gives me this thing to rub down in. I go downstairs and Scott is like... You smell like rose bush. <laughs> Jody love a smelly smelly. I love a smelly smell. Wow. I have to rub down myself too. This is think... probably one of the most delightful packagings to I've open. Seen. Yeah. Hi Anushka, it's here from Trinidad. A big up all my Trinis in the house. So we like the Etenio products because um, not only are they made in Jamaica, but I actually do find that they work. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sometimes you get products or hair products or stuff and you're like, oh, I'm so annoyed with this or whatever. I do find that they work. They actually have a kids curly mm -hmm. blind, yeah, that I find was very very nice. And I actually use this in my hair. And I've, been really using, I've been using I've been using a couple of I'm their things. I'm having difficulty opening. You see, when the things them come nice, she no no open open them. <laughs> so there's a lip here, and then you open here. Oh, tissue paper. You're gonna be fancy with this. Stick up at the seal. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. So, okay. the you. They have clearly expanded the their line. Packaging is really nice. So, they have now, which we haven't, I don't think we'd ever get to try this. Because <laughs> Nana always steals it. No, Nana doesn't need this. So, they have now oh, a no. line for men. So, this is their beard oil. There's what is Nana loves their their hair. They have a hairspray that Nana loves, but this is a relaxation oh. bath and body oil. Wow, this is good. I'm gonna actually a lip cream, a luxury lip cream, and I like that for the guys. The them? packaging is a lot sleeker. It's black, so you feel like it's sleek. It's it's not girly girly. You know what I mean? It's black with the rose gold. So. Actually, what I'm, am I drinking today? I am drinking a guava lemonade from Lady B Mixology and it is really good. Okay, so I'm gonna actually take this. No, I don't I don't know if this is for guys. I mean I don't want to be judgmental. I don't want to be judgmental. No, that's that's the girls. Oh okay. the girls. yeah. Whew. You're like, hey guys, you wanna try some bronze lip gloss? I wonder can I put this on? Each has a name on it. Oh the colour. So this is fair side red. Okay. Not so nude. I can't see. really tell what because I, I have on lipstick art. We got a, a body scrub. So glad that wasn't for men. I mean, if you want to wear it, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not, you know. Ooh, ooh! I love a body scrub. You just gotta scrub away the day, scrub away all the dead skin cells. They put a couple candles in here so you can like I don't light know a if fire. This is scrub. my color. I've never really worn something so dark. No, that's not your color. But Ooh. I will tell you that it does feel nice on my lips. <laughs> I don't like that color on you. See if the other color was lighter. You're definitely a more pinky girl. 
carving paper and a piece of tissue there. Oh, yeah. here we go. This is, oh, all right. That is me. This is going to test your sobriety. This is what the police should do. When they pull you over, when you get pulled over. I don't even know where this is going. And you're drunk. <laughs> the police should be like, here is the reddest lipstick. Put it on your lips. Oh! <laughs> right? Because I just find that putting on red lipstick is, is a challenge, especially if you've been drinking. Oh. Yes, they ship to the USA. Just click on their page um, that you're shopping, um, that you wish to ship to the USA. Okay. How are we doing? How do you do? Sober? Sober? You did, you did, you, the police would let you go, but there's a little slight at the top. But you did good, they can't tell from there. I'm being judgmental. Lip light, yes, talk about pigment that is red, and that's what just one swipe. Yeah, that was just one swipe. We got the energizing facial cleanser for him so Sean can wash his face with something other than the bar soap in the bath and put on some beard oil. <coughs> oh, a soap, and oh, this is nice. This will go with my decor in the Wow, well, they have really upped their um, product line though, eh? Yeah, they've added the... Um... Oh, and they gave you a body scrub, but it's oud. <laughs> oud. Because they're, 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 they're trying to be fancy, like, you know, oud. What does oud mean? It's probably something really European and fancy, but we wouldn't know because we're not fancy. Smells good. Oh! Uh... I know that they had a, um, a lotion Smells that smells good. <laughs> that is nice it's silicone free sulfate free paraben free okay so we wanted to just let you guys know about these products again because they are our um one of our uh, they're in our faves they're, they're in, in our faves, faves. um so, no product, not hood 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 o u d hood 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 it's arabic or european Thank you. The red looks nice on me. Thank you. It's a true red. I, I find that, you know what it is? This red has like a, a yellow base, so it looks good on all skin tones. And you know what else I really liked? Um, <clears throat> I really like the... What's a page for their products? It is Etenio. What is their IG page? I think just E-T-T-E-N-I-O. We are going to tag them below. And they're made with love right here in Jamaica. Um, at Etenio, E-T-T E-T-T E-N-I-O I think I spelled that wrong first Yeah, but it's okay Okay I'm not um, the best at spelling. Another person who Another product you. that we really loved um, Going through this Going through this whole entire process with us That they were kind of born out of the COVID pandemic too um, Is a food company called Half Half Mate. Mate. So actually Half Baked won our bread pudding competition the other day. Um, kudos to Half Baked. And Oh, she changed our label. She changed our label. It was once white, wasn't it? With a knife and fork. Or maybe this is for the savory things. I have no idea. Turn out. So they sent us a little bread pudding again today. Um, thank you so much. But they don't just do bread pudding. So Half Baked has also been here with their lasagnas, their licky licky quiche. Um, they have wrote fresh dinner rolls that they make. They make churros. Um, they also do mar. They start. They started doing a marlin dip. They have a marshmallow fluff. So they do. Wow. Yeah, they they have a lot of things to their line. I particularly liked the chicken lasagna. Yeah. Yeah, and I do like their quiches a lot. Did I have the chicken? I definitely had their beef lasagna. Had their. I think. Maybe you made me try their chicken. So anyway, I, no, I don't know if I want to open this though. Okay, we don't have to open it. I, I want to save it for like, okay, the best snack is when you've bathed the kids and they're in bed and then you've bathed and then you go down to the kitchen and you get your snack and the AC is on and you're just in your bed. Nobody now trouble you and you just like eat your snack. So hold know? on, I just want to understand this. Mm -hmm. Half Baked sent us a bread pudding. Mm -hmm. You come on in your titty top mm -hmm. with your breasts out of doors mm -hmm. And tell me that you don't want to open up the bread pudding because you want it for later mm -hmm. when you're in at the AC. When you put on the Rachel Lane candles with the Rachel Lane mm -hmm. music. Ah, I'm glad you understand. Uh -huh. And what? Stevie, I get niece? Stevie, I, I get I'm nephew? I'm going to be eating my half-baked bread pudding by myself. So what's Sean going to do? He'll be eating something else. <laughs> 
can have some of the coffee <laughs> cake that's downstairs. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Bye. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Huh. Anyway, speaking of eating, have you guys <laughs> seen the video that's gone viral today with the policeman doing um, having lunch? So I just want to know what car that was. Cause that car have a whole heap of space around the back. And do you agree? You have you seen it? Do you know what I'm talking about? All right. So let me break it down for everybody who is from overseas or. Wait. Oh, I just feel like we moved on really fast. You were ready? No. All right. Yeah, guys. All right. They can go now. Can go. Yeah. So a video went viral um, today of a police officer in his uniform. And he is performing oral sex on a young lady. You can't see her face, but she's recording. And the video that I glimpsed was about five minutes long. And I mean, he's licking his fingers. I mean, you would have think that the man is at a five-star restaurant. So whatever lady has been eating or pineapple and her okra, yeah, continue. So <laughs> the problem is, is that he was in his uniform. So, you know, and there's a lot of memes and the commissioner of police has come out and ladies and gentlemen, the word for today is interdicted and they have interdicted him. I know they've prohibited him. They've prohibited him. They've interdicted him. So I love the Glena observer or whoever it is that goes to their thesaurus. <laughs> but then when one person writes the word interdicted, everybody's writing the word interdicted. So here, Tracy and I know we're like, Siri, I didn't even know what it is. I N T E R interdicted, inter, inter interdicted. There's dick in it. Interdicted. Anyway, he's been interdicted, so that means he's been prohibited. Prohibited from what? I don't think that was a right word to maybe use. Maybe from the law force. Maybe from life. Maybe from walking down that particular street. Maybe from eating pum pum. Like I don't know. I just don't think that was the right word. You know, I I don't have a problem with men having lunch breakfast dessert and dinner but i think that him in his uniform and he knew the woman was taping him so i think he could have the, the whole being in uniform he needs to have respect for a uniform it could yeah be you do need to have respect a for security a uniform. guard uniform it could be a student uniform it could be a police and i feel like and i feel like some things you need to save for your only fans account you know what i mean mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. get that footage on your only fans and get paid for it like, yeah. don't just put it out there for free. Like, we're tired of the freeness now. Like, you mm. could have gotten paid some good money to for see that. that. But, like, you know you're in... But I want to know what car that is. Because he had a lot of space. And, girl, it looked I like... I just want to know, you're really not going to let me have any of this half-baked bread pudding right here? Just leave it. You want to come over later in the AC when you're baked? Uh, no, because it sounds like Sean is going to be having his dinner <laughs> at that time. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to be not here. sharing. No, I'm okay. Mm. I was just hoping Scott would be able to Oh, help. yes. And to add to that, not only was he in his uniform, but he's a deacon and he's married. And the fat piece of pum pum when did that eat did not belong to him wife. What is right going along. on? No, this should have definitely been saved for an OnlyFans episode. <laughs> but I think as, as a deacon, as a husband, and he, he okay, as a husband, he knows that he's doing these activities with someone that's not his wife. Why are you letting her film you? What do you think she's going to do with that footage? You know what I mean? So maybe you got caught up in the heat at the moment. Clearly she's serving up some Chinese food under there because God know. Yeah. Anyway, sir. Uh, I feel like this girl needs to come up with her own restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> like called, called Delicious Desires. <laughs> for, for all the women needing uh, a tasty pum pum. Mm. Like she sounds like she got it going so on. So she got it going on. And um, anyway, so, uh, but he's come out and he's saying that he's on suicide watch. He's really sad because he's now lost his job. His wife says she's going to yeah, leave him. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like. I don't feel bad for people because every action has a reaction and you can't tell me that you don't think about things before you do them like cheating on your wife as a deacon in the police force eating pum pum delicious pum pum apparently from in your uniform like these are all things that you knew were going to have recourse if it ever came out oh, Roman right. I didn't watch the whole video I was honestly so clearly he was saying that the lady yeah. but you still went and did it like you know yeah. people if you've made a commitment or a vow you have to live and then you know what expectations you have created for yourself so live up to those expectations don't all of a sudden now 
fall down and then be like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm on suicide watch and I'm crying my eyes out and oh, woe is me. Like, you kind of caused this on yourself. It wasn't an accident that this all happened. I agree. I agree. And that's what, but I do, I do, I, I feel like sometimes in the moment of things, maybe not pertaining to the officer, but I find like sometimes in the moment of things, we may not think about the consequences. So I do feel a little sorry for him. No, I, do, I don't because in the moment I of have, things... I have been at the, the other end of the stick where I'm dealing with consequences that sometimes maybe I didn't really think out and the, the, the consequences have been pretty harsh, you know what I mean? And it's not something that I was able to think out at the time. You know, retrospect is a hell of a thing and I just... I don't know, I kind of, I kind of... Well, then maybe you shouldn't drink alcohol and smoke weed if you're going to make bad decisions. I wasn't smoking weed or... I and mean, the officer was not smoking weed. I find that you never know how you're going to act in a situation, Trey. I agree, but, but I then, do think that a police officer is like the highest law of the land and I really respect officers. I don't know, Joe. I, I just think that, that every action uniform. has a reaction. And that goes for more than just cheating on your wife or your husband. That goes for the way that you talk to people. That goes for your how you interact. Like, you have to know. That is what communication is, essentially. And so are you more upset at the fact that he's a husband or a police I don't because think I a, che a be cheating husband knows the consequences. I you don't think, think of that. In the I moment of leaning in for that kiss, you know, you think of your wife. Like I don't think I have to be more or less upset about anything. In fact, I'm not upset. I'm disappointed. Like, I'm disappointed that you as a prominent member of society in so many ways. I'm actually upset that you're a deacon and you decided to do this. Yeah. Because how can you, as a deacon of a church, be trying to give marital counseling or any type of counseling to people I never thought when of that. you yeah, yourself yeah. can't even counsel or hold back your own emotions and that's one of the things that you take in a vow when i was doing uh, marital counseling and stuff like that with Sha with scott <laughs> when i was doing my scott and i went to pre-marriage counseling which is something that you know a lot of people do pre cana classes pre cana classes scott and i went and it was something that you or connection have to learn something that you have to learn when you become married to um Let, let's read this big comment i think um she had a point well i want to finish what i'm saying when okay. you're becoming married you have to learn how to um handle yourself and handle yourself in situations as a wife as a husband like if you're say on the boat with girls in bikinis and your wife isn't there and everybody is jamming down to wap you know, as a husband, what are you going to do? Are you going to start jamming to walk with them? Or maybe you will take a little look, give a little laugh, and then maybe go to the front of the boat and be like, okay, that's enough. Like, but are you going to go and start jamming with the girls? Like, it depends on what is okay in your marriage. And so you have to, going back to what Chris said the other day, know what is allowed and your boundaries in your marriage. And know what is going to make your wife or your husband happy. But also you need to know those, those temptation and as a deacon, markers. as a deacon for a church. Yeah. So if you know that... Wait, so go back to the big comment. Hold on, big comment. Sorry, um, lady something another made it. Hold on. Lady cubed, here we go. Both of you are right, actually. You should think before acting. And yes, there are times when... You act without thinking on both ends. There will be consequences for thinking or thinking after. So I think basically... Wait, hold on. Some more comments coming in. Um, stop. Indirect. So this is from Dadre969. Oh, Only receive a portion of your salary during the investigation. Oh, so the investigation has been launched because we're talking about the word interdicted. So he'll only get a portion of his um, salary while this is being investigated. I don't think there's any investigation need to be done. We are going to check out how nice the lady it is. So anyway, <laughs> that's a possibility. Mr. Police Officer, um, you know, I'm sorry this happened. And I think that, you know, you need to use this as, you know, a lesson for you to keep your tongue in your mouth. Yep. You know. Anyway. So if you live uptown, I'm sure you've all gotten the WhatsApp message that you can get your delivery of the COVID-19 vaccination kit at home. Um, so I'm going to take mine today. I did not get that message. Well, you get them. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, can do your vaccination kit at home. What the hell is that? You didn't get the, you didn't get the WhatsApp? No, Jody. All right, so it's a, it's just one shot, and I'm actually going to be selling them. So anybody who wants what? it, 
Jody, you cannot sell this shit. It's fifty thousand dollars for one. No, Jody. So Trace is gonna show you what's in the the package. So I think it's one needle. Lord, fancy box. You still don't know how to open, open for everybody. <laughs> Jody, I don't know if this is legal for so you. So she's gonna give me one injection in my leg. Let's get some comments. Where do you get it from? Um, so I'm not gonna tell you my distributor, but for fifty thousand dollars, I can get your own um, vaccine. Show you too. You can get your own vaccination kit. It's fifty thousand dollars. I take PayPal and I take bank transfer. Um, you can just reply with. <laughs> so it's just one joke. Still stands fifty thousand dollars if you would like yours, no problem. Fifty thousand dollars. Mm, I still take PayPal. <laughs> one joke. One joke. I mean, with that little one, you may one. need more than one. <laughs> so this is your at home vaccination kit. Fifty thousand dollars. Please DM me or email <laughs> one joke. <laughs> one juke jody at gmail.com and for fifty thousand dollars i take paypal i'm trying to sign it for a you've been out of control today <laughs> what do you mean this is a great idea seriously do you know how many people shared this when i posted it on my story how do you mean how many people shared this like shared the one what? juke shared the chocolate oh wait i'm waiting for the views to go up hold on tag your friend tag your friend <laughs> Tag your friend. Ah, there we go. Where am I? <laughs> Make your memes, guys. So, yeah, oh when I, I put it on my story earlier today, and I was like, hey, got mine, and showed the box. Backside. Uno quick, you know, uno quick. And I did get a couple people saying, where did you get that? That needle too small. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, um, one juke and you're good to go. So have you guys heard about the um the COVID testing, the anal COVID testing? Would you rather that or the one in your in your throat? Don't know you, don't know you, don't know you. I think I would do the anal. Wow, wow. I don't know. I think wow. the throat one is so invasive. I think I'd just take a little As the test person, I would not <laughs> want to be giving an anal test to anybody, actually. What is it? Just like a whoop whoop? But it's like thin But what if somebody like poops on you while you're doing No, that? I don't want to be giving it. I don't want to be getting it either, but I think I prefer the anal swab over like that I really thing up my nose. I really have a piece of this half baked bread pudding. Really. Okay, fine. Have a piece of the half baked bread pudding. Thank you. In Jeez. Japanese. It's just her sitting looking at me. Fine. Have some bread pudding. I'll have some vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I want to know something, right? Quick question. Do you prefer sweet potato fries or Irish potato fries? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I prefer sweet potato fries. You I prefer sweet I prefer I prefer I prefer sweet, sweet potato, potato fries. Same, same. You too? Yeah, I like sweet potato. I think it has more taste dimensions. Like you can get a sweet one, you can get a regular one, you can get one that tastes like Irish potato. And then it's like a different colour, like the skin is purple, inside is is um not blue, um yellow. Like yeah, I like sweet potato. And I think it's not as starchy tasting as regular Irish potato. I like it. I like it. Where has good sweet potato fries? Sweet potato? I don't know. I haven't eaten out in a while. I know, not like the officer. It's like sweet potato. Not like the officer. He's eating Where did you get that chocolate, Jody? I can't remember the website. Um, I think it's, I actually think it's called eataddick.com. Where's my, oh, sorry, I'm using my phone. And they have different ones. So at one time it was called, um, you are my best friend or I'm sorry on the outside. And then you open it inside and it always says this. So yeah. So we're thinking about doing our next food competition. Um, Tracy is so excited. Mm -hmm. She has not replied or even liked the comments. So I don't know how that's going to she go. She did like the comments. She did? Yes. So Casey Fennell posted. She's, okay, first of all, Casey Fennell talks food. about 
curry goat at least once a month. <laughs> like the girl. The girl. I swear to God, she lives in the country, so if she had a goat farm around the back, you wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> She can cook though, cause at, no, she can cook. So uh -huh. she has a YouTube channel, and on her YouTube, she's um, not always cooking, cause she does a few beauty videos as well, um, and she's just a foodie, and it's like it's so unfair because she's one of those slim, beautiful girls that eats all of the crap mm -hmm. in the world. Like mm -hmm. she probably puts flour in her coffee, and she doesn't put on a pound. Yeah, this is true. So um, or like it goes to her toe or something. Yeah. Like that. Or her toenail and she just clips the nail off. So mm -hmm. she's she was actually our Miss Universe back in I want to say two thousand and nineteen. No, feel, not so like, soon. I feel like she never stopped raining. She never stopped raining. <laughs> she's our cloud. <laughs> um, so she she tweeted the other day and she said, "Whoever curried the first goat, thank, thank you. you." So then you know it was um it became a little meme and Trace was like, "Yo, let's have a curried goat competition and Casey be the judge." And I think that would be such a great idea. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to figure out the logistics of somebody dropping off the curry goat. It have to drop off, and then you know if you if if the go if it don't go in the fridge or if it get hot and cold, it's like a spoil and your yeah. poor belly. So we're just trying to figure out the logistics of it, and we're also waiting on a reply from Casey to see. Did if you she... ask her? Yeah. Oh, no. you did. This morning, no. Prasha, Casey don't want to reply to us. She don't want to eat our curry. No, I sent her, I sent it in the DM. You sent it in the or you DM Casey? I don't have her number. I do. What's your? Mm hmm My homegirl. Your friend. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. She said somebody said, No, so pregnant with so much different curry. Did you think of that? <laughs> no, I I I did think of have that. Have them drop off the morning of the competition. Yeah. But then I would have to make um special um allowances for like people out of town. So maybe I could do like yeah. Okay, so Fernand was 2014. Really? Yeah, that seems like so long ago. Jesus. She looks the same though. I know. Oh, let's tag Casey Fernand. Tag yeah. Her. Tag that B. Make her know some of that chatter. Hey, Corrigo Queen. Corrigo <laughs> Princess. <laughs> Sorry, I got like attitude there. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would be a nice one for um for us to do. Corrigo, yeah, I like Cory. Hopefully yeah. some good curry. So we got vaccinated today. Um, Let's give away another book. So, oh, okay. We're going to give away another book right now. Spotlight on me, a guide to giving great interviews and commanding media by Racine Williams. Right. What's the question going to be? What's the question going to be? Hmm. Oh, I know what the question can be. What is the name of the company, the name of the company that sponsors Jody's drinks for the past couple of shows? Ah! Underscore yes. C-I-T-A-M-A-R-I-A. Cita Maria, you! You win, I'll jump into you guys, so that's not not Hoy and Sita, Sita Maria. Maria. I'll jump into your DMs to ask you what your postal address is. Did they tag them? Did Sita Maria? What did Sita Maria say? She said Lady B Mixology. She's correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you win. She win. You win. She win. Okay. Casey Fennell is probably like driving right now, like going to her goat farm to be like, yeah, let me go pick up Mackie and Cory later. She's like, why am I getting all of these notifications on my phone? What are Jody? Why? Why is Jody talking about me? That damn hoe. What's she saying? Cory go competition. Come, Maki. Come, 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 come. <laughs> Maki the goat. Hurry up, Maki. Come, Maki. In the van. In the van, Maki. Casey, bring yeah. Maki. Come. Bring Actually, Mackie no. Come. I do not know how to curry a live goat. I can't. Please, see, I don't. You have to slaughter him. Yeah, Johnny, you don't curry a live goat. What are you thinking? Do you date it in the curry? <laughs> Mackie's just in there and Remy and Levi's bath. No. <laughs> so who's gonna kill Mackie? Casey kills them too. No. I'm sure we have a butcher. Scott. I'm sure Scott she doesn't do even it. own a goat farm. Just because Scott has a funeral home does not mean <laughs> that he knows how to butcher animals as well. As well. He as a butcher people. <laughs> Big up to Roman's funeral home, having a warm time right now with the government proceedings. Don't worry, I have a large freezer if you need any help. So you know it. Storing bodies? And Mackie? 
I have the bodies, I have Mackie the goat, and I have vaccines. $50,000 for one vaccine. Let me know. Let me know how you're feeling. Oh my god. So anyway, I want to ask a question. <laughs> Mackie, Casey reach. Casey and Mackie just reach, you know. <laughs> She's taking off her shoes by the door. <laughs> She's so cool. So anyway. what, if she doesn't, what if she doesn't like us? Who, okay, Casey? Yeah. Impossible! How could you not no. like us? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was a good joke. Everybody loves us. Have <laughs> to. Oh. So anyway, I wanted to ask a question now, but this is a really deep question, mm -hmm. right? I'm getting deep on you guys. All right. Do you feel bad when you don't give a beggar? like outside of the supermarket, at the stoplights. Um, I find that there's a lot of beggars around town, Jamaica. So yesterday- But do you, do you want to say the word beggar? I think that there's maybe a more socially responsible word that we could use. True. The less True. fortunate. But let's, what, would, what would be the more socially acceptable, acceptable word, word for someone who begs money on the street? It might not be the less fortunate because then you're including also in that, um, like, you know, food for the poor and like big, brand, uh, more- Stop getting off of the question. Start. So this, for the people that are asking for money, like outside of the supermarkets or at the stoplights or whatever, I generally don't give. I don't give to them. And I was, the, the guy, I was going into the supermarket yesterday, sorry, to pick up, sorry, to pick up some watermelon. Um, that's a lie. My burp did not smell. I didn't even burp, it was just a strain. Like one of those, you think you're going to burp and you do a strain. Anyway, so panhandling, somebody said that. So anyway, I was going into the supermarket yesterday and there was a guy outside the supermarket and he was like, Miss, can I beg you something? And I was like, no, no, no. I generally don't give um, to panhandlers or whatever you want to call them. And why I, Stacy asked a while ago, why I, don't, I generally don't give, I think I do a lot in terms of giving to charities and other organizations and stuff like mm. that and i kind of have a re i kind of have in my head that you know all of these window washers and some of these guys who are outside of the supermarket asking and there's even a woman that carries around a child that there's a man who ca used to carry on a child in central plaza too and i feel like I feel like you could be doing something that's more productive other like than even selling something or sweeping up or keeping a place clean or, or while somebody's in the supermarket miss can I wash your car or just like doing oh. something more productive you know like I get that we're a third world country and things are rough but at the same time the people at the stop like get very aggressive so I'm definitely sorry Aisha I need to message you back Aisha was saying she gives to all the people um, and then if, if you look drunk or disorderly, then it's a definite no. So definitely older people, I do feel sorry for. I've even taken an older person home. Don't ask. So people say some of them take money and buy rum. Yeah. Food or drink. Mm -hmm. no, not a bad outlook. I hate when they use the kids. Jano, yeah, I hate when Aisha they use the kids. That. There was a deportee in You know, the... I, gardening, exactly. Yeah. Three Maxwell gardening. You walk you know? with your machete and knock on the gate and say, hey, can I... um. Can I cut the, the side, not even in a yard, can I cut the sidewalk for you make it look neat, miss, $500. I, and I just feel like, you know, going back to Fort Clarence Beach, going back to so many beaches, there's so many beaches in Jamaica that are so dirty. I feel that you could help to clean up or help to clean your area or your local place. Like but how I, would they get paid from that? Well, I think that you can put, see yourself as useful. So somebody, a good point, when they ask for food, I try to give, I agree with that one. So I've even given to the happiest man. I offered him yeah. one time my, so does anybody know happiest man? He's a young man, he's dark in complexion, always has short hair and the hair is always groomed. Um, and he never has on a shirt and the pants, the shorts are, the elastic is gone. His dung is massive, um, uncircumcised, sure is. and it's mm -hmm. um, like a third leg. Um, he definitely could stabilize himself, you know. Anyway, but he's always smiling. Always. He's always smiling. And he Trace and I call him happiest bus. man. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's always riding on the back of the bus. So he's always like, he's not an intrusive beggar. He goes like this. And so one day I wound down my window to give him food. And he told me no. <laughs> he told me no. He's like, no, I want money. And I was like, oh, 
He want to buy his crack. He want to buy his crack. He want to buy his crack. Well, and like, you know, I feel very sad for people. Like, so I give to this, um, the worldly home, the children's home. Yes. We're yeah. always giving clothes and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean. And Father Holong, um, as a developing nation, as somebody corrected me on here, I think it was Sean something. To say a third world country is now, uh, uh, they, they say developing nation. Oh, you're right. right, right. Uh, <clears throat> as... As a developing nation, I really do feel for people who are born without or don't have yeah. enough. Because there is such a vast um, disparity. disparity. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I do feel so I do want to give back. I do want to help. I do want to spend my time. I personally feel that me giving an individual money is not as impactful as giving an organization. Um, I feel like an organization can help you with more than just that one meal. I feel like if I give to an organization, they can help you with shelter, with clothes. You know what I mean? So I do prefer to give an organization over giving an individual um, on the road asking for money. And in this time, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Even if you're elderly, I'm not winding down my window to give anybody any money because I'm not going to risk myself or my family to give you a hundred dollars and sometimes when you give a hundred dollars you know them no want that them like miss a nanny will I work with you know I'm like okay well you know my nanny is also working for me so i shall keep her in my purse yeah tracy serve as a board member for what oh we missed the first comment what must i serve as a board member for correct island babe three Sometimes organizations teach Island one babe, to two, four. I don't even know how you got three out of that. I added them. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes organizations teach, but we can't all, we can't. If you, you have to go to an organization that you feel is trustworthy. Like you can't think to yourself, oh, the organization's teeth, so I'm not going to give it to them because you won't end up giving to anybody. Yeah. So you have to think to yourself, I'm giving this with a good heart, whatever they do with the money. With, and with their heart. Let is, the karma yeah. come to them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, and of course, if you want to, of course, there's a Sean Paul Foundation. Sean was um, donating iPads. So I'm not sure if you can donate cash to the Sean Paul Foundation. He needs to be able to do that where he can donate into his foundation. And then when he comes up in, what's the next holiday? Easter to give back bun and cheese to the community that he can pull from that money. That would be a good idea. That's a very good idea because people yeah. do want to have ways to give back. Actually, Spice has her own foundation that you can... Um, Donate, mm -hmm. yeah, to the Spice Foundation. <sighs> and she actually, last year or the year before, did backpacks for kids going back to school backpacks. She, she always does things, especially she's very into women empowerment. Mm -hmm. So the backpacks for kids are back to school. Um, I think I saw something the other day where, she, I, let me not say, but yes, she's always, um, she's always giving back. Mm -hmm. We're just looking into the camera to read them big questions. Yeah. <sighs> What was this last note that you have here? Will oh. husband love me? Yeah. What do you mean? So like, I feel like I'm having a little bit of, like I'm getting into the last trimester of my pregnancy now. Mm -hmm. And I'm having a little bit of an emotional, like, ride, you know? You want a sip of some tequila? I've had enough. So I anyway, mean, I know what it feels like. You feel ugly, you feel fat. You feel like you don't feel sexy. So when it comes to that intimate time, you don't feel sexy. Tracy, I felt like that too. And look at me now. <laughs> Deposit paid on my BBL and beer things, you know. Can't utter than me. I was doing my makeup today and I was like, oh, blush, blush, blush. And my husband walk in here. Yeah, I feel beard. Can't keep his hands off me. I know how you feel, Trey. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. I know exactly how you feel. I'm just, I'm just like really worried, you know, like when you were pregnant with Levi and I was super, super, super worried that like you weren't going to give me any attention because it was all going to be on Levi. Like I'm having those same feelings about Scott now. Like, oh, like, you know, Stevie's going to come and is Scott going to pay me any mind? Like, is he just going to be totally engrossed with Stevie? And am I just going to be the forgotten cow that is just like providing milk? That's if you can provide milk. And no judgment if you can't provide the milk. No, I, you know, I bought the milk. But <laughs> then I bought the boobs. <laughs> so I think that, I think that it's something where you go, the, the love that 
and the attention that you will get once you're a mother is completely different. The way Scott is going to look at you once you have given birth, and I'm sure Scott is going to be down there directing the, the OBGYN as how, how to, to birth the baby because Scott, in case anybody didn't know, is the biggest know-it-all of all time. For Ever. Scott, I'm not on Scott. You can't ask Scott. Have you ever done, like, you can't ask Scott, well, do, yes. you know how, do you know how to play soccer? His answer would be, I was yes. on the team. You have to ask him, have you ever done it before? Because him know how to do everything. everything. And he's been on the team. He has a book. He has the M, the what you call it, the MD. The, he's everything. He has done everything. Mm -hmm. So I think that the, the once he helps to guide the baby out or take the baby out himself with the guidance of the doctor and <laughs> cut the cord, fix you up, stitch you up, and everything, the respect and the love that he has for you is a completely different kind of love than what it is now as a husband and a wife or a partner. So I think the respect changes. And of course, he's going to look at his daughter. And you, but you, the admiration. Cheryl's 21 says, maybe you'll find that he's going to be the one feeling that way. That I'm not giving him enough love. And that and is going to be true. Him. Because you're going to be I that. don't know. I'm so obsessed with Scott. Like, I just love him so much. Oh my God. I just want to, like, I just wanted to. He was lying down beside me last night. And I was just like. I just want to eat him because I just want to love him that much. What, Tracy? That's so weird. Why? He's such That's a nice so... husband. Oh my god. He's a great guy. I'm sure he is, but like, honestly? Yeah. Oh. So, okay, then I could look at it like, okay, well, Tracy's going to get married and get totally obsessed with this man. Does she have any time for me? Yeah, but Jodie, you're so bossy. So, first of all, Jodie is so bossy and she's so bossy of me and with me that so when we were going to carnival last year, Jody called Scott and jo I, I wasn't even married to Scott yet. Like we weren't even engaged, right? And because we we're planning it, you're planning to be engaged, but yeah, okay, go no, ahead. Scott, I didn't know I was going to be engaged. So, so Jody apparently calls Scott and it's just like, oh, Tracy and I are going to Trinidad Carnival. I've I just booked the ticket. I've already booked the tickets. Like I've just bought the tickets. We're traveling down there, and Scott is like, Joe, we're planning on getting engaged and married, and I'm like, on that day. Jody's like plan around it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like on that day. I mean, you know, it's a Monday and a Tuesday for Carnival. <laughs> that weekend, could you maybe not do it the weekend before or That's the weekend when Scott after? Scott realized that. Okay, I'm definitely. <laughs> I booked my sister for this week, and came on Carnival and maybe a couple of the Carnivals. But I've booked my sister, my best friend, my can I call her life partner? My mm -hmm. my mate. best friend, my soulmate. I've booked her for that time. Like get married another fucking time. You just arrived. I've been here. <laughs> I'm gonna get married during Carnival Week. Like, what the Jordan hell? Said, you just arrived. I've, I've been, been here. here. <laughs> this silly little wedding another time. Uh, that was a big problem though, and I was like, no, ticket booked. Ticket booked, seat there. Caribbean Airlines. Caribbean Airlines, we're going. Yeah, so do your little wedding and your little I do's at another time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh gosh. There's I know. 11 other months, <laughs> 355 other days, pick one, not that one. I think it's healthy though for, for, for us to have our own time and for Scott and I to have our own time. First of all, I know Scott loves you, right? But I think if Scott was like at home all the time with you on him like a fucking flea, He'd be so like, how are you so needy? How did I manage you? Oh, like, can you imagine if Sean ever cheats on Tracy? She would, she, she would like, you know when, you know in those movies when the, 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 the villains crumble into like powder? Like Tracy <laughs> would find out and be like, Poof. I wouldn't manage. I wouldn't manage. Don't worry. Either. I got you girl, like cremating for you in his own crema crematory. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think what would happen would be I'd, I'd call for all of the Tuesdays with tricky mm. people out there to back me up and I'd have like a squad like Beyonce. With the ashes because I've already dealt with him. Uh, 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 uh. It was very hard for Trace to have a boyfriend growing up, you know. I don't, I didn't have a boyfriend growing up. <laughs> Who said? Somebody thinks I'm drunk? No, darling. 
big up to our sponsor, Lady B Mixology today. I, I heard her say Sean too. Guava lemonade. Stop, but it's okay, guys. I said Sean? Yeah, it's okay. I already... Because I love my husband. I love him so much. I just want to lick him all night long. Have you, let me my ask you something. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Have you ever had mixed food with sex before? Like done like a peanut butter or a Nutella or like a whipped cream? What? <laughs> <laughs> so I must say, at the W Hotel, on their menu, on the dessert menu, right at the end, you can get the night package, and the night package includes a plastic shower curtain liner, it includes dipping chocolate, it includes strawberries, whipped cream, a gag, and all kind of things. So hold on, when they delivered it to the room, I just happened to be in the room, and I was like, what is this? And Jordy was like, Jesse, I don't know why I have to be in everything I do. And I was like, I, I don't, <laughs> you have to say you have ordered everything off the menu. So how, so you so so you so you're saying yes? No. So wait, you like have Corey? Them? What? What, what the goat name again? Mackie. <laughs> so hold on. We mean like food, like no, grab I'm, a burger. I'm asking, no. <laughs> No, I'm asking, have you done the whipped cream chocolate thing you and Sean before? Like, you've done that? Not that I can recall. But you just said you ordered it off of the menu from the W. It could mean that I'm eating the chocolate. On your plastic bed sheet? Because I don't want to bathe. Ew. I'm going to have to ask Sean this question. Oh, Sean's going to give me some. Sean is here. Oh! Oh. Alright guys, bye. Thank you for another edition of Tuesdays. The trick you remember, read your Bible, pray every day, and you shall grow, grow, grow. Alright, and we're now going to end with a scripture reading. I didn't know Sean From was the there. Dare Book of Mark. Oh my gosh. Is Sean really here? Yes, I just saw him. It's Sean. Just... Oh my god, I'm getting so red. Actually, is he not working in here If he all? wants to join me, then so I can ask him the question. No, he's not going to answer you. Why don't you think he'll answer? A bear he is here. I told him. I told him. I him. I the Bible I don't reading want. for today is <laughs> Ecclesiastes. Add chapter. on Sean. I'm not adding on Sean. Add him on. He's at work. Everybody say Sean, no. Sean, 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 so Sean, guys, I just, Sean, so Sean, Sean is actually Sean. going to join us maybe next week or the week after he has his new album out live and living. So you can check that out. There is a song with intense. And actually, you know, you know what, Sean, we need to have a giveaway. Sean says waiting Curtis, on you. Add him of in. the Sean Paul Foundation. Add um, him in. Go live with Dutty Paul. We need to have a giveaway. And his name is Dutty. I'm sure you guys have done some Dutty. Bring the children, stuff. come. He's, he's ignoring me. So, Sean, we, if we're going to have a competition. Whoever can um, can tell us the lyrics that Intense sings, they'll win a prize. Ah, we're trying to add you in, Sean. Don't and you Sean don't want to answer. He doesn't oh. want to go live with us. He wants me to bring the children to the video. So, he's oh. shooting a few different videos this week for some of the songs that are already out on his album Live and Living. Sean does not want to go live with us. He's blocking me. No, he's not. Don't worry, I'll block you later. Ooh, and she had big plans, Sean. Mm. She had big plans for you and the bread pudding later. <laughs> and the bread pudding, yes, I did. <laughs> I did, I did. Um, so yeah, one day we'll have Sean on the show and he can do some giveaways, he can give away some stuff and um, talk about his album, Live and Living. The launch was on, was it Friday? I actually like the names of that Sean has chosen for his albums. I feel like they're all very um, upbeat, but current to what is going on in his life right now. Like when he had the mohawk and it was tomahawk technique, you know. Mm, mm. Okay. All Sean is saying is he's blocking me and saying, "Bring my children." Why do you make it seem like I'm running across the border with them? <laughs> By the way, Lisa, the other day, did Lisa go to the video shoot? Try no, Sean. I'm trying. Maybe you don't have any. Um, go live with Dutty Paul. Nothing's happening. Let's let's talk about what's the first single off the album. First of all, it was not an album launch. It was an album listening party. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the first single is Boom featuring Busy Signal, the second single 
uh, is uh, the intense thing we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah, them, them Can you tell me about right. the car mat, the car mat line? Yeah, yeah, it's a car mat. What we thought you were saying, car mat. Oh, what is it? Car mat, him say. Car mat. Car mat. What's happening to the mat? Like the car mat, as in where you put your foot on. Car mat. Mm. Oh, what's happening to the mat though? It's dirty. No, he's putting your foot. No, you are talking about them rings. Anyway, I'm gonna. No, 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 no. Wait, she's gone. One, 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 one more question. I'm coming. I'm coming with the kids soon. One question. One question. <laughs> before you go. Before you go. Right. Yeah. I just wanted to know. Have you and Jody ever introduced food in the bedroom? <laughs> Like when during, like you know, like you have had whipped cream, Nutella, peanut butter. Have you guys ever done something <laughs> sensual like that? Oh, uh, seriously, I don't need those things, and I also don't need those questions. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it private. Keep it yeah, private. Okay, I soon come with the kids. I soon come. Bye. Bye. Hey, listen, Sean not going to answer them things, you know. Well, you don't answer either. Um, Sean is going... I bet you Sean will go, Yo, your sister, your sister disrespect me. It's always miserable. Mm. Um, so he's, you're going on to the video now? He's on... Wait, hold on. This is Mrs. Fuchs from Glen Abbey. So he's on the shoot now for another video. I saw one today. It looked pretty good. Scorcher. Scorcher video. Looks really good. They haven't, they haven't finished it yet, but it looks really good so far. Oh, wow. So remember guys, $50,000, I can get your at-home COVID vaccination kits. And um, so it's Mecca Jamaica, the page is up. And oh, we've been looking good on the page, edited and stuff like that, looking good. This page. No, you're right. What? All right guys, so, oh gosh, we've gone over our time. Hey Carly. Yeah. Alright guys, so that's it for our hour. Make sure you catch us every Tuesday right here on my IG page for another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky every Tuesday at 1.30 where we talk about the most random things and, you know, get into some trouble. Trace is in big trouble right now with Sean, but it's okay. I'm going to smooth it over later, you know? <laughs> we would like to thank my sponsors today. My cousin Kevin in the house, I see you. We'd like to thank our sponsors today, which is, I've done, i finished it. Lady B Mixology with the um, Guava Lemonade mixed with tequila. Also some of our favorites today, um, you can check out the Mecca Jamaica page as to how we're going to be running some promotions, how to really build brand Jamaica in our special way. Today we had one of our favorites, Half Baked. Oh, you can check them out at Half Baked 876. Also, Itenio at Itenio um, for some wonderful Jamaican products, some moisturizers, some candles, some beard oil and Rachel Lane. This red lipstick. Oh. And one of my personal favorites is Rachel Lane, so you can get your, ca your cameras. Candles. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And get your groove on, because yeah. she puts music with her candles. Oh yeah, that you can. so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. All right, everybody. And big up to Jamaican author Racine Williams with two giveaways today. With her book, Spotlight on Me, I'm going to message the winners and tell you, well, I'm going to just post the books to you. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next week, Tuesday, with some more excitement and some more, maybe more cleavage next week, Tuesday. Because I'm Could looking... there be any more? Yeah. My nipples like down here. We're going to move the cleavage down some more next week, Tuesday. So make sure you tune in to all of our guys who say that we don't, um, you know, we don't, we don't cater to you. Oh, so next week I'm going to show my cleavage. Yes, yeah, so we're going to show some, some milk. milk. <laughs> everyone thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next week tuesday at 1 30 for another episode of tuesdays with tricky bye. bye oh you can catch a repeat over on my youtube channel this is jody or jody henriquez and you can watch the repeat for all the excitement that happened today bye wait wait one second